Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody's doing well. Uh, today, I thought we'd do a little bit of a different video than normal. Um, as you can see, I'm in Showdown. And if you didn't already know, today uh, that I'm recording this, uh, February 1st, um, Series 8 actually just started for Pokemon Sword and Shield. And if you don't know, they changed the rule sets a little bit. So the gist of it is we're allowed one restricted Pokemon. So that restricted Pokemon could be Kyogre, Groudon, Zacian, Zamazenta, Eternatus, um, and so many others, like Dialga, Palkia. Yeah, so I just think it's really, really cool that uh, we're, we're allowed one restricted Pokemon. I think already things have just changed so much. And today, actually, I wanted to try and make my own team for Series 8. So I haven't really started making the team yet in Sword and Shield. Um, that's something that I'll probably aim more towards for Wednesday's video. Um, but yeah, before we get into like just a showcase battle, I kind of just want to go through the team and what I was thinking while making this. I, it's, it's not perfect, but, um, you know, I can still make tweaks uh, down the road. Okay, so pretty much the one restricted Pokemon that I wanted to use in Series 8 was actually Zacian. Um, I thought it was really interesting how uh, just right off the bat, he gets a plus one attack. I thought that was pretty good. And I did some like damage calculations and he just, he pretty much one shots like so many Pokemon. Like, Kartana, if you Sacred Sword Kartana, it's it's just it's just dead. And it's so fast too. Um so pretty much I just invested uh max attack, max max speed, and then the last bit in HP. Um it doesn't really do much, the last bit in HP, but I just wanted him to be somebody that is super fast, outspeeds so many Pokemon, and just it one shots. Just one shots. And it's it, it's worked out pretty good for the for the most part. Um, so pretty much the moveset I'm running on this thing is Protect, Sacred Sword, Behemoth Blade, and Play Rough. Uh, Behemoth Blade, if you didn't know, it doubles the damage if the target is Dynamax, which, if it's super effective, that's incredible, that's so good. Uh, Sacred Sword just ignores the target's stat changes, so that's obviously just a good option if, say they have like, um, if they were like building defense, uh, or whatever. And then Play Rough is just a coverage move, um for things like dark type, fighting type, um, things that it's obviously weak to. And then I, I ran protect on this um, because you'll see like with some of the other Pokemon that it's paired up against, it's it's not a bad option to just protect and then go for like another move on the support Pokemon. And next up we actually have Whimsicott. So I chose Whimsicott because um, I thought it'd be fun just to try and run uh, Tailwind. Um, you can do things like Tailwind Landorus, Tailwind uh, Urshifu, Tailwind Lapras or Incineroar, even Zacian. I think having Tailwind up is a really, really good way um, to to help just get speed control in general, obviously. But um, uh, but as I was saying before, like because Zacian has Protect, you can literally just Protect Tailwind. Um, has the Focus Sash, so it'll live. Um, and then next turn, you you pretty much out you pretty much outspeed everything. I'm pretty sure. I don't know if you you probably I don't know if you'd outspeed Regieleki still, but um, so I also run uh, uh, Fake Tears, Moonblast, and Taunt. Taunt is just for hard Trick Room cancels, and then Moonblast obviously just damage, and then uh, Fake Tears just to lower the special defense of anybody by two. Um, and for the spreads, I kind of just ran uh, similar similar to Zacian, except uh, special attack and not re uh, physical attack. So next up, we actually have G-Max Lapras with Life Orb. This thing does so much damage. So, um... I gave it Water Absorb, um, mainly because... Shalimar, I don't know. Shalimar and Hydration just didn't really seem like good options for me. Um, Water Absorb, uh, obviously is good against things like, um... Uh, what's that one's name? The Snake thing. Milotic. Uh, it's good against Milotic and Feeny because they both run Muddy Water. Um, and it's just, if you switch in and predict it right, it's just a good way to um, get a little bit of your HP back. But I'm running, uh, for the moves, I'm running Thunder, Protect, Blizzard, and Hydro Pump. Mainly just because this thing is going to be like your main source of Dynamax uh, majority of the time. That's also not to say you can't Dynamax like uh, Landorus or Urshifu, um, but for most of the games that I've played, I've led more towards Dynamaxing Lapras just to get, um, 
Aurora Vela with G Max Residence. And then after, if you go for uh, Max Geyser, that just sets up rain, and then you can freely thunder um, the subsequent turns if it's super effective and it works for you. Um, so pretty much the spreads, just max attack, max uh, special attack, and I ran the last four in speed. Um, but yeah. All right, so for our fourth Pokemon, we actually have Incineroar. Um, as we all know, just a good Pokemon. I ran Citrus Berry on it. Um, I probably could have run, what was the other one? Shucka Berry? Yeah, you could, you could also run Shucka Berry on it, but the, the amount of like, I guess, how do I say like, um, I haven't really been running into many like max quakes or like earthquakes really. So I didn't really see a need for that. I thought uh, Citrus Berry was just a good way to get, uh, more health back. Uh, ability obviously intimidate and for the moves fake out parting shot flare blitz and darkest lariat if i didn't have whimsicott that new taunt i would have replaced darkest lariat for taunt um as my way to kind of cancel or counter trick room um and for the spreads it's a little bit of a weirder spread i would say i just did max attack uh make sure that it's a little bit more over speed than uh hp um, and I chose that just because uh, Citrus Berry helps uh, cover for the lack of um, EVs put in speed. Okay, and for our fifth Pokemon, we have Landorus Therian. I gave this the Assault Vest. Um, I originally tried running Expert Belt on it, but um, it just really wasn't living the hits that I wanted it to. Um, but Assault Vest just kind of helps... Um, be a little bit more tanky and take hits and then uh this is just literally just bread and butter uh moves for av landorus just earthquake rock slide fly and u-turn um and yeah the, the, these are the spreads max attack max speed and a little bit in hp okay so for our final pokemon we actually have urshifu um single strike style uh this one i just gave it the choice band with um, Sucker Punch, Close Combat, Wicked Blow, and Brick Break. Um, this is mainly to help against, like, Metagross. Um, you could also even do it against Kartana. That totally works, too. It also does pretty good against, uh, Psychic, like, the Psychic-type restricted Pokemon. Like, um, the Giant, I don't remember their names. The Giant Lion and the Giant Bat. Lunala and Sogalio. It, they do pretty good against those. Um, which I think is just a good coverage to have. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much the general basis of the team. Um, now, for things that like I typically use it for, the main strategy I actually had for it was Zashin and G-Max Lapras turn one. Um, Zashin could just like protect or just go for like Behemoth Blade, Sacred Sword, while Lapras sets up um, uh, Aurora Veil because Zashin is it doesn't have like the best HP stat, um, so it does take a lot of damage to things, especially. Um, like fire uh and ground ground type moves that really uh hinders it in a bad way so like i said before it's not a bad option to go for protect and then aurora veil and then something else that i've done is if i bring the zashian i normally like to bring landorus just because if they do go for like a max quake while i protect that's a good bait to switch into landorus and then they just waste a turn of dynamax um, something else you can do is Zashian Whimsicott. Um, you can obviously protect Tailwind. You can uh, go for like Behemoth Blade if you suspect they're going to Dynamax and uh, just Taunt if uh, they do have a Trick Room Pokemon. Um, I think it's just sending out, if they do have a Trick Room Pokemon, it's a good way to just respect the fact that they could just go hard Trick Room turn one. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Incineroar is obviously good against other Incineroars and Landorus's and Urshifu's. Um, Urshifu, uh, this was kind of like a last minute decision to add him in. Um, I just, I needed a little bit more coverage and somebody who could do good damage if I decide not to bring Zashian. Um, yeah, so I thought Urshifu, uh, single strike style would be good. Uh, but yeah, now that that's out of the way, let's uh, try a few battles out. Okay. So our opponent here has Entei, Xerneas, Sableye, Amoongus, 
Ninetales, and Metagross. Mm. Xerneas is a good option. Xerneas, like, Geomancy. Um, I think it just boosts, like, every single stat uh, by, like, one or two. So that's obviously going to be an issue. Um, but we do have Behemoth Blade to take care of that. Um, and then we also have Urshifu to help deal with the Metagross. Uh, obviously, Max Quake on the Metagross is going to be a bit of an issue if we do decide to go with Zacian, so... Uh, but I also like Lapras here. So we can do Z actually Zacian, Lapras. Um, Lando and Urshifu. Let's, let's try that out. I think that would be pretty good. Kind of covers for um, a lot of things. So they actually go for Metagross and Sableye first. So I think I, I can just protect and then max resonance to Sableye. I think and then if they do max quake us then we can just obviously switch into um uh landorus the next turn but they actually go for willow has been taunting stomping tantrum sorry so it definitely does have a max quake if it decides to dynamax um kind of curious to maybe just switch into landorus for the zashian spot and then Maybe just max Geyser the Metagross and see how much damage that gets done. And they go for Will-O-Wisp on the Landorus, which isn't going to be good, but we do work with the max Geyser. And um, they do actually Stomping Tantrum again. Um, but obviously just doesn't affect us. So I'm down to just go for Rock Slide and then max Geyser into the Metagross again. Yeah, burn on a burn on a Landorus is just kind of, it just hinders it so much. So I don't I don't mind it going down there at all. They actually just knock off our life orb, okay. So who could they bring in? We pretty much do we outspeed? We outspeed pretty much like a lot of them, right? I don't want them bringing in if oh, I think we have to bring in Zashian. Just because I think that's the best option for us to do and they still have their dynamax left too which is um we have to keep that in mind so they go for xerneas okay i'm good with that and we outspeed it too i'm pretty sure so we just go behemoth blade and then i'm down to just go for thunder because we're, we're gonna hit it mm, they switch into anti okay that's good oh and they will always us. that's not good Oh, dude, that does so little. That actually just does so little. That hurts. Okay. Maybe I, maybe the move was to protect. Yeah, I should have just protected. I think I'll protect now and then just Hydro Pump the Entei. Well, no. I think we could just try Behemoth Blade, see how well that works, and then I'm down to just double in. Oh, that actually just one shots, even though we're burned. Um, okay. <laughs> I guess that's that's it. That's that's how it ends. So uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, uh, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and uh, see you in the next video.